Right now, researchers at five University of California medical centers, including UCSF, are recruiting thousands of women from across our state to take part in a study that really aims to clarify when and how often women should get mammograms. The objective here is to find the best personalized approach to breast cancer screening. The women will be split into two groups, one that gets mammogram screenings every year starting at age 40. The other will go through a more personalized approach where screenings are based on individual risk levels determined by an extensive questionnaire and a DNA test. For more on this, I'm happy to be joined this morning via Skype by Dr. Laura Esterman, director of the UCSF Carol Frank Buck Breast Care Center. Thank you so much for joining me, Dr. Esterman. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Can I ask first, why has the medical community not been able to come to a conclusion on this issue? Well, I think the reason why is because the data uh, is actually 30 and 40 years old. Uh, we actually started screening before we even knew that there were different kinds of breast cancer. And now we know that there are estrogen receptor positive breast cancer, and triple negative breast cancers, and HER2 positive breast cancers. There's fast growing, slow growing. Some may never be very serious, and some are very serious. And we now know a whole lot more about breast cancer risk. So it doesn't really make sense to screen everybody the same because everybody is not at risk for the same kind of cancer. So this is a fantastic opportunity for us to test uh, models to see if we can personally to live screening, do more for those that need it and less that don't, maximize benefit and minimize harm. And so let's talk and about... Everyone can participate. Let's talk about that harm, doctor. Yeah. What are the dangers of what could be excessive screenings? Well, you know, the more you screen and the more you find things, and when we call women back, most of the time, what we call them back for turns out not to be cancer. Uh, and three quarters of the biopsies that we perform actually turn out. It sounds like we may have lost. Oh, I apologize. Uh, it looks makes like people very anxious. Oh, sorry. So I said that you know what ha what happened. Teacher. And we're done. Yes. Positives. So that's a good thing. Okay, Dr. Esserman, I'm sorry we're having a bit of a problem with the uh, audio. You were saying that uh, if, if, I, if I choose to start getting screenings at age 40, perhaps they might turn up something small. I go back, I get rescreened. It turns out to be nothing in most cases. Um, tell me, women who, whose ears perked when we, they heard about this massive study, how can we get involved? So any woman age 40 to 74 can participate. Uh, if you haven't had breast cancer, all you have to do is go to wisdomstudy.org, share your wisdom, be part of the new voices and the new data that will actually help us all make better decisions for screening. And we encourage, you know, we've, Blue Shield of California has actually been the leader in this from the insurance company. The rest of the insurance companies have not yet gotten on board and we need to encourage them to help us generate the kind of data that women need to know how to best protect themselves not do too much and not do too little, but to really do the right thing and to figure out how to make prevention front and center for breast cancer. And Dr. Esterman, women who choose to take part in the study, I can say I want to be in the every year starting at 40 group, or I can say I want to be in the more personalized group. Is that true? That's correct. We encourage everyone to, to be randomized, to let the study determine by chance. Uh, but if you feel really strongly one way or the other, you can still choose which arm you want to be in because we want everyone to participate. That's the most important thing is that everyone be able to participate. Okay. Re regardless of how strongly you feel about one or the other. Okay, very good, Dr. Laura Esterman. So thank you so us. much. Help us find the right answer. I would love to help. Again, wisdomstudy.org. We're going to pop that up on ktv.com in just minutes. Thank you to the doctor for joining us.